Welcome back to the 44th episode of a Close Combat Longest Day Play 2 with the Allies in the Grand Campaign on Late Difficulty and this time around we are defending Pont El Abbe, Abbe or however you say it. I'm really butchering these names throughout this play too, I know. Uh, so I'm a bit interested to see how this one plays out because I think we have an extremely defensible position here where the Germans are coming into counter-attack with a, uh, well, a regiment from an infantry division and um, well, they do have some armor with them, so let's see. Ah, they're coming in here, so I was thinking maybe we fight them and they come in and like uh, in the marshes or the swampland. That would be like very easy, but okay, so it's not going to be quite that easy. Let's see. I right, have one stig away to do, and uh, let's just bring them in the best uh, available stuff for an attack here. In uh, my opinion, anyway, I think we'll give them a company trip with four MGs. And, uh, well, silk trips. Mm. I think company trips would be more useful for them in this scenario. So, uh, we'll give them a four gun at their squads as well. Definitely the Stug. And a Mortar. Plus. Couple of these have machine gun teams and maybe a second mortar team. Well, ourselves, we don't have too much to choose from. I'm just gonna reconfigure this entire thing a bit. Um, so, kind of, well, that might actually have been <laughs> better the way it just was there, but we had some injured soldiers as well that I kind of want to just get the place. Um, doesn't look like we really need the platoon HQ teams and whatnot on this one. Um, well, could put in a company HQ to at least get some uh, rifle teams in here. And then, oh, we actually got a couple of Shomans. I keep forgetting, we, we seem to have gotten some tanks to a lot of our uh, units, which is uh, good. Uh, but may change a little bit what the enemy should have here. So instead of this, let's go with uh, this. I think that's fair. Okay, well, we got the Shermans. Uh, I think we have good positions for an anti tank gun as well. I mean, they can be good against infantry as well if we keep it hidden somewhere and uh, in line of sight on the enemy, so to say. They had one anti tank gun. No, sorry, one anti tank uh, tank destroyer, or the, the Stug, basically. So, uh, I don't think I need the super teams. Mm, yeah, this this looks fine. I'll go with this. And, um, I mean, I could give the enemy like a medium anti-tank gun, right? Maybe better that than uh, one of these heavy machine gun teams. Although it's probably going to spawn in pretty exposed. The thing is, there's a chance it could be very good for them to have it. So, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's go with this. I don't know. If you're, nah, I think. I mean, he's got the stick, three Panzer Shreks. Probably better this way. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> I just had an idea that might be ridiculous, but. We can deploy here. And we'll have a fair distance away from the enemy deployment area. And uh, we'll be able to cover the north side here pretty well. If I could then also get just two Shermans here. This is risky, but it could be very good. And then if the Stug is here somewhere along the road here, we can just get the Shermans both on him and hopefully be able to take him out before he takes out any of the Shermans. Plus, with uh, such a distance here, the Panzer Shreks won't be getting to them either. And uh, let's see. Let me get this thing set up so I can shoot through the trees. So. Uh, seemingly not. Okay. 
Well, we are defending, so we could dig in a ditch, I guess, but that seems fairly risky. Well, maybe over here, can we shoot over the bushes now? Um, hmm. Yeah, this isn't really ideal. Uh, I was kind of hoping to be able to set up this thing to be a bit more effective against the Stug. Uh, if you saw on this side. Uh, so I could dedicate both shoulders over here, but... Uh, not entirely sold on it. Maybe in this building? Yes, but uh, not in the best location in it due to the room placement, huh? Ah, uh, damn it. Actually. Well, that kind of falls my plans a bit. Um, I don't know if I could have it on a, like, hidden over here. Maybe it can shoot through this, it just can't. Like it needs something with a bit of a silhouette to it. Maybe not, though. Uh, yeah, well, okay, we're gonna try putting it there. And then, if it doesn't work out, we can move it. But, uh, yeah, the situation needs to allow for it, though. Either way, um... Let's get the Tordekel in here, and uh, I'm all kind of danger we're talking from this house. Will that be able to cover anything? Nope, didn't really think so with all this foliage here. But we'll get that Tordekel running in here and getting set up ASAP. Together with an MG team, and I guess we could have the uh, company HQ there. Just to get a little bit of morale boost and all that good stuff. Then, well, let's see. Okay, I think we can uh, get away with pushing some units into these uh, various bushes. So we're gonna put MG teams just covering this field for sure. So uh, then it doesn't have too easy of a time kind of getting to cover where it could interfere with us taking that position. So as fast as possible, hopefully. Uh, yeah, rifle teams, three houses sir. It should hopefully work, and uh, get an MG team in on that as well. Let's see, we got this rifle team here, and another MG team. Okay, I want heavy presence of rifle teams in this general area, so... Let's see... Uh, the MG team here, I think maybe we put it over uh, the uh, cal here. Just so we have significant machine gun firepower in this area. Okay, now we go, the MG's are positioned on the edge, pointing out, so... Yeah, let's see what happens, hopefully the Stug is out. Let's go. It's not, it's over there, and uh, can we shoot it? We can. Oh crap, I meant to have an infantry unit move in here and secure this, but no one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I kind of need to start to turn around so we can reposition the anti tank gun a little bit. Alright, well, I mean, so far so good. I mean, we've taken the positions I wanted to take, so... Good start, the Stug is uh, not really making much fuss out of himself though. And the Shobans have so far not been very effective. However... Maybe we should start making some moves. I think we can send the MG team. In on the lower side to move up to take this building. Once the family one tries to interfere with that, the Shermans can intercept that. Fire. 
Well, well, if the enemy MG teams are down, then oh, well, hello there. They have another team here as well, but I don't want to move the uh, Sherman stuff to deal with it, though. Could be Panzer Shrek teams down there as well. However, if we can bait out these guys to actually shoot enough to reveal themselves, so then we can start uh, engaging them with the Shermans. Two teams dead here. One here. And then, uh, I mean, why don't I just blind fire the damn area? What am I thinking? Maybe get these guys up to get ice on them this way. Might as well lay into them with these guys as well. Okay, this MG infantry is kind of getting it a bit. Alright, let's keep that. Oh, we got the enemy mortal team over there. No shots on that, but there's no, no others. I could move in the tanks, but I'm just scared of a panzer shrek in this damn hotel. the MG team here, I guess. Put them on defend and just see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna move in um, these two teams over here. Maybe I should have done this already, actually. And then just get the uh, team spread out in the bushes over here. MG team, move in the company HQ. We're yeah, immediately taking quite a bit of flak for that. Quite a bit as well. This is the, the one time they shouldn't keep running, this one time they do. I love the AI in this game. Or maybe I'm just looking for something to blame, who knows. Okay, we wiped out these guys at least. Now this whole endeavor didn't go too well. Alright, well, we can go and maybe claim the guard post with this guy if he hasn't assaulted yet, which he has, and we can set up the MG here, one man MG team, that's good enough, I guess. Okay, if this guy gets in here safely, we can have a look down here, just to give us the best chance of there not being a Panzer Shrek team huddled up here somewhere before moving into tanks. Then we can move in with the tanks. Oh, okay, that's a heavy machine gun team dead at least. And that's another the Pioneer team. It's like, what? I didn't give them a Pioneer team. I says, I'm not giving them these things. Has the troop composition been reset or something? What the hell is going on? Okay, well. Wow, we're just moaning down here. And the Stug is finally reacting to something. Uh, thanks for that. We're going to move these uh, various teams in here, I think. Not to give the uh, Stug something to shoot at exactly, but to... Uh, Maybe someone can do something with the Stug. And if not, then at least with all these team servants, Stug is likely to turn to deal with them. Okay. There's one Panzer Shrek team. There he goes. Turning around, so if the plane doesn't get it, which it doesn't, we can turn in the uh, anti tank gun here now to get it from the ass. I hope. I think the team composition has been reset. So maybe they only have one Panzer Shrek team, I'm not even sure. Oh, we got him. Who got him? Someone got him. Very nice. It was not the AT gun. Alright, so they had the capability to take that uh, the stick. That's good. Wasn't 100% sure of that. Uh, but looks like we can... Oh, right. 
Uh, yeah, they're gonna be miled down over here, man. I forgot about that just then, to the end, though. Oh well. Just keep on defend her, and uh, some dudes surrendered. Move these guys in, see if they can make it without dying. Because if they die or not, those teams are either way going to be removed from our souls as they are now no longer counter as combat and effective due to the amount of casualties they've taken. So if we lose the, the remainder of them, it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, well, we're going to run in here. And I mean, all we really need to do is take this victor location and... Uh, at worst, wait two minutes. Just make sure they can't counter push it. Which, um. Why don't we just kind of charge towards it and see what happens? Eh, yeah, let's just go. Oh, except for the Tilly Cam, if you in here. Yeah, not those guys. It could be it's just a mortar team, though. Know, right? yeah, I'm something over there as well. But yeah, I'm pretty sure um, the enemy team composition has been reset. That happened last episode too, as well, I think. So, just kind of weird. Okay, truce, and they accepted. So here we are, victory, and. Uh, the MG team is gone, so is that. This one as well. Four MG teams completely wiped, basically, or removed from the reserve list anyway. So, um, in just MG's wicked uh, infantry squads that are like super tri party, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, we're running low on those. So, yeah, that's what it is. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, well, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on it, maybe even subscribed if you haven't already. And with that being said, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.